Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be removing the throttle body on my 8th generation 2009 Honda Civic. Once removed, I'll clean it really good. Let's get started by removing the upper and lower cowl panels to get access to the throttle body. Okay, so let's get this cowl panel off. Just take this rubber molding off. And then you're gonna have some clips. Let me show you how to get this panel off. It's this little hook tool right here. Um, seems to work pretty good for things like this and taking clips and molding out, stuff like that. But these are pretty brittle. It looks like they're gonna break on me. That one didn't come out very well. And this one over here, I've got a bunch of clips I'm, I am going to replace. And that one didn't come out very well. And then from here, we come up here, and these are also clips. They'll pop out. Be gentle. There we go. And there we go. So these were the clips that we were pulling out right here. So not a big deal. They just pop out. Now over here, is your windshield washer. This is where all the water goes so it squirts. So if you ever got a problem there, you'll just want to make sure these hoses are clean. So I'm going to remove it. I've got like a little pick tool. I got a set of these from Harbor Freight for about six dollars. Just reach in there, go around it, loosen it up, And then pull it off and bam, this is out of your way. Next up, we're gonna remove the metal cowl. And to do that, I have one, two, three, four bolts. And then on the other side over here, I also have one, two, three, four bolts. Let's go ahead and get those taken out. All right, so this is what I'm going to use. I've got a 12 millimeter socket on my gun. There's one. There's two. And a 10 millimeter with an extension to get the 10 millimeter bolts. This one. And then the one back here. There we go. All right, so the same thing on this side. There's one. There's two. There's three. And here's my fourth. And there's actually one extra over here. And let's go ahead and get this one. This will just come off. All right, so let's remove the negative cable on the battery. And then the airflow sensor. Let's just pull that off. And then let's get rid of this connector. To do that, you just push it this way. And then this one is going to go this way. And this will come up and get out of your way. Now let's go ahead and move the air cleaner box assembly. And the air filter. Still looks okay. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the lower air box. There's a screw here that's holding everything on. 
There's also two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one down here. All right, this to remove. All right, that's out. And it looks like I need to get it loosened up from this. There we go. That's holding it in there, which I should just pull out. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna remove this boot next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this to get it out of my way over here loosen this up all right and then that can come off there and I'll kind of work that off and this hose comes out and then this comes off. All right, so next I'm gonna remove the throttle body. So let's remove this connector. And the main connector here, pull that boot and there's a tab. And just kind of rock it back and forth. And it should come off. There we go. Um, so this was the tab right here. All right. So I've got a hose here. I tried to pull that off and it doesn't want to come off. And it's plastic here, so I don't want to damage anything. So the only one I actually need to take off is this one. So let's do that. There should be a little coolant in there. Uh, all right, that, ho that hose is a little hard, but I don't have one. All right, so next we're gonna just pull those four throttle body bolts off. There's one, two, three, four, and let's see if that comes out. That's out. Same size, so they're all the same size. Now let's see if it comes off. There it is. And there's my throttle body. All right, so I'm just gonna clean this the best I can. Throttle body cleaner on there. Get in there with a rag. So I can open this up a little bit. turn it over and then do this side. Looks pretty darn clean right now. Next, let's install the throttle body. Got my bolts. One, there's two, there's the third, 
and then here's the board. Let's make sure they all start hand tight. And I'm reusing the same gasket uh, only because I don't have one and it looks, looks good anyway. And then I'm going to torque them to 16 foot pounds. these on. Let's go ahead and put our hose back on and then our clamp. All right now let's get our wires on. That one goes there and then this one. Let's get that on here. Gonna go on there. Now let's put our boot on. All right, so now it's time to put the lower air filter in. We're gonna have to get it close. Make sure it, it goes in here. And bring it down. And then, so we want this in and this in. And then we gotta put the air intake tube in. And this is why I didn't tighten the boot yet. Let's make sure everything goes in first, then we can kind of line it up where it needs to be. That looks pretty good there. One 10 millimeter goes here, and the other one goes down there. Let me show you a little trick. Just take a little paper towel, put it over the bolt, Now, put this on your socket. Now it's not gonna fall off. So now we can come down here, get it in the hole. Tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. Now I can tighten my boot. And then tighten this portion of the boot. There you go. And what I did forget, I forgot that. Can we get it in there still? Yeah, we can. but it would probably be a lot easier if you do it the first time. And let's get that on there. All right, this one. That's good.
map sensor, airflow sensor, and then clip that on. All right, so now we're gonna put the panel on. This is the lower panel. This will go on fairly simple here. One. Two is a 10 millimeter. And for the back one, I'm going to use my paper towel trick. Now I'm going to go to the other side, do the same thing. Let's use the paper towel trick on this one. And let's get these two on. That one's in. The shorty. Let's do the middle one now. I got one, two, three. Let's get these other two over here. Four, five. Now let's get the 12 millimeters. One. Three, four. All right, so let's get the upper cowl put on and then we're, we're done. So here's the washer pump hose there. Just flip it around and these clips just need to go in those holes. And let me get some clips. I'll put them in here and we're done. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and send this to somebody that owns a Honda Civic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.